Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Josie Q here, and uh, today in my video, I'm going to be talking about kind of like what you need to, um, you know, create a channel and kind of uh, how to, you know, get it started pretty much. Now, in the next video, if you like, actually, if you like this series, let me know down below. And in the next video, I will kind of, uh, I'll explain to you how to start gaining subscribers, what you can do to kind of get more subscribers, and um, ultimately how to get a partnership. And then I'll go into what each partnership kind of is and how I was thinking of it and why I chose this partnership over this one, blah, blah, blah. So, to start a channel, obviously, you're going to have to have a channel name. So now, when you think of a channel name... You should kind of think, um, you know, not for like how you're feeling right now, but kind of think about what you're going to do on the channel and also think about how other people are going to view it. So don't choose like something that has a bunch of X's and like sevens and Z's and all different types of like weird stuff because then people aren't going to really take you seriously and maybe they won't subscribe. But uh, you never know. I mean, if you have a nice voice, then maybe they will. But um, that's another thing. If you do commentary, that's a different thing. But um, we'll get into that in a second. So channel name, that's a, that's a definite. You gotta think that through. Like I, I spent a little while trying to think of my channel name, and um, and uh, yeah, it was it was worth it. So the next thing you wanna do is have a capture card, and this is if you're doing gameplay. I mean, if you're not doing gameplay, then I don't know why you're watching this. This is mainly for gameplay, but um, but anyways, when you're doing gameplay, you're gonna wanna have a capture card that is top quality like a uh, you know HD PVR, Aver Media, or Elgato. Uh, I would steer clear from the Roxy, or steer clear from the, uh, uh, what's the other one called, Pinnacle Dazzle or something like that. And you know, if I had to give my honest opinion on which one you wanted to get, the one that has the most features, and the one I have, and, and I'm not sponsored or anything by them, so don't think that I'm just saying this because I'm like getting paid or something to do it, because I'm not. But what I think is the best is the Elgato, and that's because one, it is really small and takes like th literally three cords to hook up to your TV. And with the um, the HD PVR, I had it already, and I, I still have it it's over somewhere else. But um, that took about like 15 cords to hook up from my TV to my computer to my Xbox, all that kind of stuff. And this one's literally an HDMI cord to my uh, my Xbox, an HDMI cord to my TV, and then one to my computer. It's really really um good. So the Elgato is really good in the sense that it's small and it doesn't take up a lot of room. And also, you can live stream directly to YouTube or Twitch with it. Now, the problem with the HD PVR is that if you try to live stream with the HD PVR, you have to buy XSplit. And the reasoning behind that is because the free trial will not give you the preset that you need to uh, actually live stream with it. And although a bunch of the other softwares, other the five like other main softwares that are out there, do not work with the HD PVR. And I have never come across one that works with it. So if you want to live stream with it, which you may be thinking is not a big deal. But once you get partnered, it's going to become a big deal because people are going to say do a live stream, blah, blah, blah. Then you're going to have to like buy one that actually live streams or something like that. So it's probably easier just to get it in the, in the long run just to get the Elgato. Plus, it's less money than the HD PVR, I believe. I believe the HD PVR is $200 and the Elgato is like $170 or something. If you buy it on Amazon, it's a lot cheaper on Amazon than their actual website. Um, so like I said, capture card. Also, Aver Media is a portable one which is very good because if you let's say you have an xbox in your room but your computer's downstairs then aver media is what you're going to want to go for because you won't be able to reach the cords from your tv upstairs to your computer downstairs so aver media is for people who kind of are uh, you know going to be travel not traveling but um you know maybe uh, not in the same room as their xbox so moving on next is uh the microphone so when you're doing a commentary you could start out with a microphone that's not high quality and like i'm saying if you had um Guitar Hero, I, that's what I started out with. I started out with a Guitar Hero mic. As long as it doesn't sound like really, really bad. Like there are some out there that you've seen a commentary maybe before where like you could barely hear what the person's saying. But if you want to get a good uh, commentary mic and you want to kind of, um, you know, you have a little bit more money to spend, then I would recommend getting the Blue Snowball. A lot of people say get the Blue Yeti. I mean, it's it's not the exact same thing. I mean, it's it's got different stuff to it, different features, but ultimately it's pretty much got the same quality and until eventually down the road there's like an even better mic the blue snowball for its price is very good you can find pretty much all the stuff that i'm talking about on amazon.com or if you have uh actually no they don't sell them at best buy yeah, they, they don't sell elgato's at like best buys or stuff like that they stores like that they mainly sell them on uh, like amazon and their website and uh, the blue snowball is also on the um on amazon and it's actually pretty cheap on Amazon. Mine was only like $60. It was on sale from like 120 to uh, down 60 so it, it was pretty cool. It might, it might not be like that anymore though. So like I said, a microphone 
And also, this kind of goes along with it. When you're going to do your first commentary, guys, and please, like, I've seen people who do commentaries on their first try. Yeah, okay, that, that's good and all, but you should probably do your first commentary five times, save all of them, and then probably choose the best one out of those five. Um, and also, like, when you go into a commentary, don't have everything written down for on a piece of paper, and don't plan it out. That is the main thing I could say, is do not plan it out, don't write it out kind of rhymes in a way don't plan it out don't write it out whatever okay so the reasoning behind that is because if you're gonna sound like you're planning it out you're gonna overthink yourself you're gonna kind of read off the paper and not pay attention to what's going on and stuff like that when I even when I did my first commentary I, I've improv every single one I came in here with channel name capture card and mic editing software all of this stuff written down and I'm just going off of whatever comes to my mind and somehow I can do it I don't really know how but you should definitely practice kind of improving what you're going to say and kind of just going in randomly with what you're going to say. And it definitely will pay off. That's what all the big commentators do. None of them go in with a set like thing unless it's some type of like skit or something that they have to plan out. But I mean, if it's a commentary that just like randomly, they're going to go in there with no idea what they're going to say and come out with a great video that you probably liked and subscribed for. All right. So moving on past the mic and the, the whole, you know, improv thing. Editing software. Now, for editing software, you're obviously one gonna want an editing software that's gonna be able to edit and render HD videos, which you're gonna be getting from your Elgato, HDPVR, or Avermedia, or whatever else you go with. Uh, Black Magic, I believe, is one of them, but I've never really heard of much stuff about that. So, um, you know, one like that. So, Movie Maker is out of the question. I know a lot of people use Movie Maker, and it's really bad, and it really, it's just not. What, what people like, you're gonna want to see because it's not really gonna and it's not gonna render that video in in HD. It's just gonna render the video in like probably standard def or something. Um, honestly, I'd say the cheapest. No, well, it's not one of the cheapest. There are some, but like the most user friendly, easiest to use, cheapest. Um, you know, for like in that type of, I guess. What's the word I'm looking for? For the, the most professional one that you can get for the cheapest price is what I have, and it's very, very good. It's called Pinnacle Studio 16 Ultimate. You don't need to get Ultimate, but because the standard one will do the same thing that I'm that we're looking for. But with, with Ultimate, you get like a bunch of cool extra features. You get a green screen. You get all of this cool stuff. You can make 3D videos. I mean, I haven't used this stuff yet, but I'm saying maybe one day. You know, there's always a day you're probably gonna use something like that. So. The reasoning behind why this is the best one is because, you know, the, the next one up is probably Sony Vegas. And this one has all of the features of Sony Vegas, but this one's more user-friendly. If you go look at a Sony Vegas video, there's so many little buttons and so much stuff you can do. But with this, it's literally, like, it, tell, it like, literally, like, lets you know. The only thing that's a downfall for um, Pinnacle Studio is that when you want to zoom in on something, it really doesn't zoom in because you have to stay within, like, these certain boundaries. But, I mean, you're not really going to zoom in on pictures unless you're doing, like... I don't even know what you'd be doing. Um, so yeah, and, it, and the price is about one hundred and thirty dollars. You could probably find it cheaper if you maybe went on like Amazon or some type of website. Or I mean, if you find, I don't really know how to illegally download shit. I'm not telling you you should, but I'm saying like if there was a way to like do that, then that'd be. This is probably the best like editing software you can get, honestly. And uh, also, this is a little tip out there for anyone who might have this problem. I had a problem. Where um, my actually my computer messed up a couple months back and I had to get it fixed. So what the ha what had to happen was they deleted a lot of stuff, like literally like 500 gigs of stuff, and I had to, um, you know, re-download everything. But um, pretty much what had happened in that whole process is something I don't know. Apparently my my hard drive got messed up or something like that. And when I went to reinstall Pinnacle Studio uh, 16, it would it would crash all the time. And then I looked up why, and people were saying, you know, if you just had something big happen on your computer, you should probably defrag the disk. And um, when it, do what it does is it makes it so every single program that's on your computer actually gets bunched together. Because if it gets put on your hard drive, it might be put on, like, on this side and this side and this side and this side. And it actually takes those programs and apparently bunches them together. That's kind of what I took away from that. I mean, that might not be exactly what it is. But with the Pinnacle Studio 16... As soon as I defragged the disk, it um it actually kind of it, it fixed it I guess it, it apparently it put the program more together or something so now it actually doesn't um crash anymore so if that happened to you if it was crashing that's a way to fix it so let's kind of recap what I said channel name make a good one capture card Elgato or Avermedia I wouldn't st I would steer clear kind of the HD PVR unless you uh, really don't plan on doing you know live streams in the future on like Twitch or YouTube or something um a microphone. Uh, get the Blue Snowball microphone, and as an editing software, get the Pinnacle Studio 16 
I mean, if you're going to spring for anything, go ultimate. But if you're going to get regular, it's about $60. And honestly, it is the best one out there for what, you know, you're doing. And because you got to remember with an editing software, it needs to edit, you know, HD videos. And when I say HD, it has to be like 720 and 1080. And, you know, Movie Maker and stuff like that will not do it. So Pinnacle Studio is your best bet. I will try to leave all the stuff in the description eventually. I might not get to it right away because I have stuff to do. But if you guys want me to make another video talking about kind of, how to like actually gain subscribers and when you actually got all this stuff and set up a, a, a channel and whatnot let me know down below and i will make the video i hope this wasn't too much of a ramble but uh, i feel like i had to go in depth in some stuff so let me know what you thought and leave a comment down below peace out